All right, so it's I just got the skid steer back from the 50 hour service. I'm getting the uh, brush cutter sharpened and ready and lubed. Getting... Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back to this farm vlog. It's been a few weeks, but this very first clip is very important for land management, but you're going to have to listen. We do have quail again, so if you listen, you could hear the quail singing and calling each other. They're the ones that actually sound like a person uh, whistling. So this is really, really huge news, and this is why um, we leave brushy areas around the farm, and it's also why I don't burn the uh, warm season grasses off like many people do in the spring. Could it be cleaner without weeds? Yes. However, it provides valuable nesting for the quail, which is basically going extinct here in southern Illinois. So welcome back. Let's check out this week's vlog. Okay, so I wanted to maybe try bees, but not at, at my flipping hot tub. There's bees everywhere here, and it, it's almost like they like kind of like an area in here under my hot tub cover. There's a squirrel making noise. There's a bobcat. Walking through the woods here. Well, I lost one of my carts here. I was trying to put that bucket on there. And uh, I must have just barely put just a little bit of down pressure and just psh, crushed them front two wheels like nothing. Ah, back to the drawing board on that one, I guess. Uh, that two-row planter is for sale, by the way. I sold my disc. That's listed on Marketplace. That's a good Alice Chalmers. 1100 bucks right there. No-till. Uh, that bucket is brand new, that tractor bucket, that's for sale. Let's see, what else can we offload? Okay, stay tuned. I have several uh, nice project videos coming out, but I'm waiting. We planted um, multiple lawns, Phil and I, but I'm waiting until they come up so I can get the full project videos like before 
during and after. So this is our first job that we finished on a farm and we planted three different lawn areas including a pond dam. So I'm going to wait till we have some after videos so you can get the whole project stuff. So definitely stay tuned and I have multiple projects on the list from other people wanting um, all kinds of different things done with our machines. So definitely stay tuned. Should be pretty fun. Okay, this bee fell in the hot tub. I rescued it and got it out. And then it looked like it was dead. It was laying on its backside, totally dead. And I kind of nudged it. It didn't move at all. And now, a few minutes later, it's kind of moving. Now, it might have chlorine poisoning, but I'm hoping it could survive. There's some crow pie at the drive through window. Come on, man. This ain't a beehive. And I do not want to get stung by about 10 of them at one time if I tick them off. All right, so it's I just got the skid steer back from the 50-hour service. I'm getting the uh, brush cutter sharpened and ready and lubed, getting everything back in order. I got a couple of uh, land clearing gigs coming up here soon. And uh, get this thing cleaned out and lubed up and put the bucket back in and try to make some sense of uh, where each of these things is at. Um, but stay tuned, I got some fun gigs coming up here in the next few weeks. So I am just going to take three of them and that will give me a little bit like 16 and a half inches. This old screen door I got at uh, somebody's house. They were having a rummage sale and a bunch of antiques. That was that day we went on the barn finds. And the guy that uh, lived there, he's in his 80s probably, and he remembers taking it down. It's from an old boarding house locally here. 